Yeah, Chris, so we got bad news from J&J today, but good news from Moderna and Pfizer. So now the question is, does the good news outweigh the bad news, especially for those who are still on the fence? And if not, can we still achieve herd immunity? It's okay to take a pause and say, wait a minute, I thought this was safe, and now you're telling me that there's blood clots. But then we, as a public health infrastructure in Massachusetts and across the country, have to then answer their questions. Mass Legal Community Health Center CEO says the pause in the J&J distribution over a few blood clot cases may make people more hesitant at first, but when they stop and look at big picture, they should see it as a good thing. Concern's not a bad thing, right? Because concern makes you inquisitive. It makes you ask the right questions. We should be concerned. What I would say is we shouldn't overreact. And we know that the consequences of COVID-19 um, are being borne desperately by black and brown people, by poor folks. Uh, and that is a, a much worse statistic than six out of seven million. In healthy people, we see four out of a million of these types of blood clots. So this is even less frequent than that. It was just that particular association with the low platelets that made the regulators concerned enough to take this pause to do a full investigation. But I think that that tells us just how safe our vaccines are. While that small percentage of people getting blood clots halted to J&J, &J, Pfizer announced it can deliver 10% more doses to the U.S. and Moderna announced greater than 90% efficacy after six months. For the people who are on the fence, what is this news going to do for them? We have enough vaccines just in Pfizer and Moderna to get to herd immunity in this country. Now, I think that the, the addition of J&J, &J, you add on the 15 million that were spoiled um, uh, just a few days ago, impacted the distribution of J&J. &J. Now this recent news that is going to delay us getting to herd immunity as quickly as we would have gotten there, but we're headed there, right? That train is revved up, it's leaving. It just won't have the same speed. And Curry says it was important for Moderna and Pfizer to set the record straight, not as a knock to J&J, &J, but to combat any false narratives that Moderna and Pfizer have issues as well. Well, Wale, I know you've done some stories on some of the programs here in the state that are exclusively using J&J. &J. So how does today's news impact them? Yeah, I reached out to Dr. Alistair Martin. You may remember him. He was in charge of the Got Vax program. They would take the J&J &J one shot vaccine to low income houses and get them vaccinated right away. He tells me this will, of course, slow them down. No more J&J, &J, at least for right now. They will now have to use Moderna and Pfizer and then set up follow up appointment so slowing things down but the train's still moving for them as well chris all right